Joining Clutch Sports Radio on the Eyes Radio Network is the one and only Washington, your Washington Redskins wide receiver, Mr. Terrence Austin. How you doing, Terrence? I'm doing good. I'm uh, here on the West Coast right now, uh, hanging out with family and so training kind of started. Oh, that's awesome, man. Uh, relaxing. So tell me, before we get into the football talk, you're in uh, Cali. I've never, I've never gone back to Cali. Oh, Terrence, real quick. Let me, let me, let me make you laugh real quick. So uh, there's a little one around in my life, right? Tell me why I got her to sing the going, going, back, back to Cali, Cali. You got a, <laughs> you got a two-year-old baby girl singing that. How good is that, Terrence? <laughs> hey, that's great, man. That's great. I mean, it definitely shows she got a little bit of skill. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. We got to start her off right, Terrence. <laughs> but anyways, man, going back to you, what fun thing have you been doing so far in Cali, off-season, having fun? Oh, man, a little bit of everything. You know, mo- mostly it's just been about hanging out with fam. Uh, you know, we have a family reunion picnic that we usually have every year on the 4th of July. So uh, that was pretty big. We had a, a big fireworks show for the family. Um, and I've been to a couple of weddings out here. Some friends got married. Um, but other than that, man, it's kind of like just to hang with the family and working out. Yeah, man, that's awesome. So you got a big family? You're like 50 people deep, Terrence? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's probably more than that, you know, when I count, you know, my mom and my dad's side. So it's it's, it's pretty steep. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome, man. Well, it sounds like you've been having fun, man. So, but let's, let's you know, I'm really excited to catch up with you, uh, Terrence, because, uh, you know, you're a great guy. You're an exciting player, a young player. This is your second year with us here, uh, so we're excited. So getting started off with off-season training, what have you done since uh, mini camp since we last spoke with you on your personal end? Um, really, man, I've just been doing a lot of running, uh, you know, doing a lot of speed work, um, and making sure I keep catching the football, you know, every chance I get, you know, every day I'm touching the ball, uh, continuing to run routes, just trying to stay sharp on everything that I do. Uh, so I won't be slacking or anything when it comes down to, you know, uh, when the season starts. So, uh, you know, really, I've just been trying to make sure I shop my skills and, uh, stay in shape. You've been going out there doing, uh, two a days? Uh, no, I haven't done, done two a days. That was more so when I was trying to condition and stuff and, and during the off season. Now it's getting ready to start, you know, so it's kind of like just maintaining and, uh, tightening up before, you know, we really get to going. Absolutely. So you mentioned, I know last time we spoke with you, you mentioned you started catching some balls from RG3. I know that you're out in Cali, but, you know, RG3, I know he was having some players get together. Were you one of those? Did you see him at all? Uh, no, I didn't I didn't get the chance to, to go out there. <clears throat> I had some uh, prior engagements that I couldn't take. But, um, you know, he... It wasn't. It wasn't really that much of a problem with him. You know, it was just an extra two or three days that he could get with guys who, uh, you know, who he had practice with. You know, just trying to get familiar with everybody, a little extra chance to do that. Um, but you know, I, I talked to him last night, and me and him had a little good conversation, um, more so about just being excited about what's about to come. And uh, you know, he's he's excited about it. I'm excited about it, and uh, I think that. He's going to be somebody that's going to help us out a whole lot this year. Absolutely. You're listening to Clutch Sports Radio on the Eyes Radio Network. I'm joined by Washington Redskins wide receiver Terrence Austin. And now, Terrence, uh, going back to even you guys are already it's, – it's a beautiful thing, man. you got a leader that's already calling you guys. I'm excited about the wide receiver core because it's a brand new one. You have a new uh, quarterback coming down. So my qu- a quick question is from the first day that RG3 walked into camp and even now – from the phone calls to him getting more out there and throwing the balls with you guys, there's already amazing growth, isn't there? Oh yeah, it's a lot, you know, and that's 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 what's sparking things up around, uh, you know, the facility around town in Asburn. You know, everybody's really excited about what it, you know he's what he has to bring, and even even more than that, you know, the thing that I think is special about him is how much he's willing to contribute, you know, on another level, you know, more so than just, hey, you know, I'm the guy I've arrived. Um, he hasn't come in there with that attitude at all. You know, he's coming in with a winning attitude 
and I think that that's what's, what's the most special that special to me about him, you know, other than his athletic ability. Um, you know, and he he just brings a different different uh I don't even know how to explain it, it's just a different aura that comes around the facility when he's there. So everybody's pretty much buying into him, you know, and we trust in him because, you know, we got a chance to see what he can do. And uh, you know, firsthand, you know, through OTAs and uh mini camp. And uh, I think that we got a guy that's gonna help us be able to make plays. You're listening to Clutch Sports Radio. We're joined by Washington Redskins' Terrence Austin. Now, Terrence, you're going into, we mentioned, your tr- your second training camp. Last year, you were the talk of town. How were you not catching balls, throwing your body out there? I mean, you were making plays. I didn't forget you b- about you. Not during the training camp, not during the season, my man. So I'm excited to see you out there in less than two weeks what have you been working on for this for this time? Because that's this is where it all comes down to now, training camp, because it's just around the corner. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I've just been just trying to make sure that I sharpen up on all my skills. You know, it's, it's never it's never too late to learn something. You know what I mean? And you, and you never know everything, you know. So everything that I need work on, I make sure that I work on that. And everything that I feel like I'm pretty strong at, I still work at that, too. Uh, so that's that's pretty much what I've been doing. Just trying to make sure I'm a well-rounded guy, uh, so that when I step out on the field, I'm able to do everything. I'm just trying to make myself more valuable for the football team, so I can help in every aspect. It's, you know, not just at wide receiver, but special teams too. Uh, so you now I'm just been home and just got everything written down on stuff that I need to work on, and I'm bet you I've been working on that. Absolutely. How's that playbook looking in your second year as well? It coming a little easier? Oh yeah, it's uh, it's definitely, it's definitely a lot easier than when I first came in. You know, I had to to try to squeeze in everything because I wasn't able to be there for all of the mini camps because of the graduation rule. Um, but you know, when I did come in for the training camp, I was able to, you know, cram everything within the four week span and understand the playbook. You know, so now, um, you know, I'm, I'm actually this is actually gonna be my third year. But I'm actually kind of like bringing it all in and just playing now instead of trying to think about what's going to happen out there on the field. You know, now I'm just reacting to things instead of just trying to uh, go out there and piece things together. Absolutely. Now, uh, going back to uh, you as a wide receiver, Terrence, who are, who's helping you out for, I mean, like, like, for example, who's your mentor? We talked to Jared Green, Daryl Green's son, and uh, he's just got signed to the Carolina Panthers. He was telling me how uh, Steve Smith, that's his guy that's taking him under his wing. You being a, a young wide receiver, who, who is that guy to right now, especially with so many new faces around? Yeah, uh, you know, when I came in, it started off with Santana and uh, Coach uh, Keenan McCarty. You know, both of those guys were uh, guys that I had looked up to coming up. And it was a blessing being on the same team with these guys uh, and being coached by one. You know, so uh, Santana's always looked out for me. He was somebody that I modeled myself after coming up. So, um, you know, I paid attention to a lot of things that he did watching him come up. So when I got there, he was, it was kind of automatic. He, we just kind of just soaked in, and he just was like, showed me everything that I need to know, and I'm still watching. You know what I mean? And the good thing about it is that we're learning together, and uh, nobody's looking at one another as a superior and an inferior type of person. You know, we're all a team, and uh, he just he helps treat everybody the same around there. Absolutely. You're listening to Clutch Sports Radio. We're joined by Washington Redskins' Terrence Austin. Uh, you know, Santana, it, it's great to have these leaderships. Now, now, what do you think or what do you hope to gain out of this training camp? Uh, we mentioned last year you had a monstrous year. Um, what is your number one thing? Uh, I mean, are you hoping to get... Uh, more playing time, obviously, getting a, a better a better role. I mean, what what is it, your number one goal here in this training camp heading into the season? Well, I mean, I, I have a lot of them. You know, I, I don't want to ever cut myself short with that. Um, but you know, obviously, I do want to be playing a lot more. And I mean, that's that's gonna that's gonna stem off for of the way I play. You know, so I, I gotta continue to tell the coaches that you know they can count on me. Um, you know, that I am a, a clutch player and, you know, just make sure that when I'm in situations like that, I'm able to capitalize on my opportunity. And um, that's the main thing. And I think that everything else falls in place after that. 
Absolutely. Now, Terrence, you, this, you, we talked about RG3. You guys are really starting to form something, right? Uh, a chemistry. Uh, is, is that a special one? I know you've been, you've been here. You've seen the Rex Grossmans. You've seen, you've seen the, uh, Donovan McNabb. I mean, you've seen a, a lot of faces already in the short time. Uh, but it's a different feeling, right? I mean, it's got to be a different chemistry. Just I would think you being a young guy uh, and, and RG3 being a young guy, I mean, we, we, you guys, we click, right? So, I mean, wh- what is it that you guys have uh, on a special side here? Um, you know, I, I, I've never met, I never met him until, you know, he's gotten here. Uh, we do have a mutual friend, you know, that went to Baylor. Um, and we kind of kind of linked after that. But, um, you know, me and myself, you know, me and him keep a cordial relationship just like, you know, anybody else would on the football team. Uh, but, you know, I, I just I try to try to be friends with all of my guys, you know. So, you know, me and him text each other every now and then, you know, just check up on one another. Uh, the main thing, though, is, you know, we, we always talk about how excited we are about the, about the upcoming season, you know. So uh, I think that for the most part, these last six weeks, that's what's been – the major thing between me and him, but I mean, as a team, man, I think the relationship is understood and and, and welcomed, you know, because we understand that he's somebody that's going to be there for a while, and you know, he we 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 are able to see how good of a player he is when he came in the mini camp, and everybody could believe it, you know. So uh, we're backing him, we believe in him, we know that's who we got, and that's what we work with. <laughs> You're listening to Clutch Sports Radio on the Eyes Radio Network. We're joined by Washington Redskins wide receiver Terrence Austin. Now, Terrence, before we let you go, i got to ask you another fun question. I saw those brown uniforms come out. Eh, not, my, not so much my taste. But if I was a player, I would love to rock something like that. What do you think, my man? Oh, man, I think they're nice. You know, I think that uh, what stands out the most to me that I thought that was pretty cool was the helmet. You know, the helmet is painted as if it's leather. So, um, you know, if you're watching from the stands, it really looks like it's a leather helmet uh, based on the, the type of paint that's on there and the way that it is painted. So uh, I'm excited about it, man. I'm looking forward to wearing them. You know, I've always wanted to wear throwbacks. I wanted to wear the throwbacks last year that we had. Uh, but, hey, you know, we we, we get a chance to do this for this 80th anniversary. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, man, that's awesome. You're right. Yeah, I'll take that back. That helmet was pretty sick. The colors on the uniform, that's just what I – I'm not buying that one, Terrence. <laughs> but, but I love the whole Nike thing, man. I, I love the Nike thing. You know, it's, they're making some big steps, yeah, I think. Definitely. <laughs> uh, the Nike uniform is is, is, is definitely an, an, an upgrade, I think. You know, I've, I've worn Adidas all through college. But, um, you know, I played teams that were Nike in uh, it just looked like it was a, a little bit more at the bar. That's awesome. Well, Terrence, thank you so much, sir, for taking the time. I know that uh, anyone, all our fans out there, check Terrence out at TerrenceAustin.com. Check out his website. I know we missed uh, your camp. Uh, by the way, we talked to you right before. It was, I'm sure it was a very successful camp, huh? Oh, yeah, it definitely was. Um, you know, the, the TerrenceAustin.com was uh, just set up for the camp, actually. I'm working on my website now. I'll get that to you later. But, um, you know, the camp was definitely a success, man. The kids had a ball. Um, you know, they're looking forward to the third angle one. So I'm excited about it. You know, we had a good show. We had about 100 kids out there. Um, just having fun. They learned a whole lot. Um, you know, they taught, they taught me a few things. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the kids, the kids enjoyed it. Uh, we'll definitely be doing another one. That's awesome. Well, Terrence, uh, I'm going to see you in two weeks out there working it, man. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much for taking the time. And everyone out there listening, follow Terrence on Twitter, Terrence underscore Austin. Is that right, Terrence? Yes, sir. All right, man. Thank you very much, sir. You have a great night. All right, you too. Thank you. That was your Washington Redskins wide receiver, Terrence Austin. Follow him on Twitter. Check out his website. Support the guy. Please check out this episode, ClutchSportsRadio.com. You can also listen to it on EyesRadio.com. Download the podcast from iTunes. Search Eyes Radio Network. And don't forget, download the Stitcher Radio app. Search Eyes Radio Network. You can also listen to it then. Terrence Austin, Washington Redskins, Clutch Sports Radio, Darwin Averett. Thank you.